1920s, as ground-based technology improved, we stopped painting the surface of Venus with our imaginations and started filling in the gaps with facts. The first spectroscopic analysis of the planet's atmosphere suggested that it wasn't water or oxygen that filled the clouds of Venus. So some thought this hinted at an arid desert land beneath. Others speculated that formaldehyde filled the air, leading to the belief that Venus was not only a dead planet, but a pickled one too. But come the 1950s, the true nature of Venus began to be revealed, as more accurate Earth-based observations suggested the presence of overwhelming levels of one defining gas in the Venusian atmosphere. This was not a planet shrouded in clouds of water and oxygen, nor pickled in formaldehyde. This was a planet engulfed in a blanket of carbon dioxide. And as Arian use had demonstrated on Earth, this almost certainly meant that whatever lay beneath the clouds... Okay, nonsense! Planets are basically nonsense. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you why. This is the second part, if you remember. I did a video on the uh, using the Hebrew to show you that NASA is a fraud. So I use this device right here. I use this right here to show you the Hebrew word NASA. NASA. Okay, remember I took this out right here. NASA. And showed you. So, we're going to go to part two, which is planets. So, all I'm going to do is go down on this software to the Greek language. And I'm taking you down. Now the Greek language is deception. Same thing that was up with the Hebrew. So you will see the Greek word for deception right here, which is plan A. I'm going to click on that and show you. Okay, that is the Greek word for deception. With a P and an L and an A and an N. Plan. Plain. Okay. Now here it is, right here. Okay, the, the accent over the E, it means it's pronounced more like an A. Plan A, you might want to say plain, but it's more like plan A. Okay, now there's a scripture text for you from uh, the Gospel record in Matthew 21. Okay. Now, a plan A or plan it is deception. So what do I mean by that? Well, we're going to go over here to this other side, which is just simply the same thing. Okay, and at the top, plan A. Error, deceit, deception. We'll scroll down. What's the meaning of it? Plan A. Deception, deceitful, deluding. Hey, that's your New Testament Greek language. And here's all the various forms of it.
Now you notice, to be led astray, to deceive, error, deceit, deceiver, deceitful, misled, stray, then the other, using the, uh, using the, the root word, you get planetes, or wanderer, someone who's going astray, someone who's sort of meandering around, and that's what they called the lights in the sky, and that's all they are, are lights. So when they talk about, like in this video, about the, the planet's surface, there is no surface. <laughs> all right? There's no surface because God made lights. And this is from Genesis. You will see that God made lights in Genesis 1, 13 to 19. They're lights. So all this talk about landing on the surface of Mars, the surface of Venus, the surface of the moon does not exist. The only thing that has substance, physical substance, is the earth. And don't call the earth a planet. It is ground. It is earth. It's not a planet. Because plan A is what? I showed you. Deception. So all, all this talk about landing something on the planet's surface of Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Uranus is nonsense. Why? Because the origin of the word is deceit. Okay? So back to, this is part number two. In part number one, I showed you with the Hebrew, Massah is deception. Nasa is deception. Planets are deceptions because they are just simply lights. There's no physical substance whatsoever above you. None. The moon is a light. The sun is a light. The so-called planets are lights. And that's all they are. Now, where does the origin of the light come from? Well, that's the subject of a whole other video. But I just wanted to establish in your mind that the word planet is derived from the Greek word for deception, error, deceiver. <laughs> And any nonsense about landing something on a planet's surface, forget it. You can't land anything on a light. I'd like to thank you and remember that Jesus is the light of the world. All right? Thank you for watching this video. End of video.